guys, so today I have a big giant elf haul for you. All of the stuff that I got was only 25 bucks because on April Fool's Day they were having a 40% off sale, but then once you went in to check out, it was actually 50% off. So I was like, holy cow, gotta get a bunch of stuff. I originally only got on the e.l.f. website to pick up the new little studio blush palettes, which I will show you guys. But when I was getting those, I was like, I might as well stock up on some other things too. So I'm just gonna start reaching into this bag and see what kind of stuff I pull out. So first I have this lip primer and plumper. You've got the plumping side and the priming side and they both are like a lipstick kind of look to them. They're very tiny. I'll show you guys. They're like really skinny looking. They're, they're like little mini lipsticks almost. The priming side does have a color to it. It's kind of like a concealer like to cancel out any of the natural color of your lips. And then the plumping side is clear. It goes on totally clear. I did use the plumping side last night. It just has like a tingly like cinnamon kind of feeling to it really. But I didn't find it to be plumping or anything. The reason I bought it was for the priming side which I did use this morning. I don't know how long it's going to make my lipstick last or anything but it did cancel out my natural lip color and it, I have it on underneath the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. So, so far I like it because it does have that canceling, concealing kind of effect to it, but we'll see how long it really helps my lipstick last. Next here I have a flat eyeliner brush. I have a lot of angled liner brushes, but I don't have any flat ones, so I thought I would pick it up and it was like a buck fifty, you know, with 50% uh, off, so couldn't pass that up. I got some oil absorbing sheets. I don't like to use these for like actually absorbing oil. I don't think they're really that good at that, but I do like them for blotting really bold lipsticks for getting all that excess product and everything off of your lips before you go in and apply another layer um, just to take away any of the like big stickiness or anything like that. I do really like them for that. Then I picked up a foundation. This is the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation and it is oil free and I got mine in porcelain which was the lightest one because I'm usually like second lightest in most foundations, most drugstore foundations, but I wanted to be safe, play it safe and get a light one because my experience with e.l.f. stuff in the past has always been that they're just too dark. Even their lightest shades are just too orangey or yellowy or just too different from my natural skin tone, so I played it safe by getting the lightest one. Next I have a Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, and the thing I thought was kind of funny about this one, it says the lash applicator is this little short one up here at the top, and then the brow applicator is the big fat one, which I would do opposite. I would use the big fat one on my eyelashes and the little tiny one on my eyebrows because I don't have like massive giant eyebrows or anything, and I don't think anybody really like has extremely huge eyebrows that they would need this big giant wand. I think the smaller one is probably a little better, but I haven't used this yet and it was, I believe, one of the dollar ones, so 50 cents. I mean, I was like, whatever, I guess I'll try it. Then I got this. This is the glitter primer and this is cheaper, like less than three dollars on this one here and it does have like a sticky kind of gluey kind of finish. I did use it on my eyeshadow today, which is a pretty glittery eyeshadow, but it's not glitter. It's not straight up glitter. It's just a very shimmery eyeshadow. And I like the way that it worked today. I also put it on my hand and then I put some glitter on it and it was really stuck on there. It it feels like it's going to be a really cool product. I thought I would try it out and so far even just playing around with it, I think I'm really liking it. Next I've got the e.l.f. BB Cream. It has SPF 20 in it and I got mine in the color Fair, which again is the lightest one. And I am wearing it today. I did set it with a powder because it's very, very shiny. Very wet looking. It doesn't set very well, so you definitely need to set it with a powder, but I don't know how I feel about it just yet. It does have really nice coverage, especially for a BB cream. It has a foundation almost feel to it. It's really thick, and I think it's going to be kind of cool trying to test this out and see how it works out for me. The color's okay, I think. I haven't looked at it outside in natural daylight, so I'm not totally sure, but just thought I would give that a try. Next is the Exact Lash Mascara and it has a teeny tiny little baby brush on it and it's also an angled uh, mascara wand and I just thought this would be nice for using on my lower lashes since I mean if you guys have been watching my videos you know I'm, I'm I really have a problem with getting mascara like down under here like when I'm trying to do my lower lashes I always have an issue with doing my lower lashes so I figured a teeny tiny little brush mascara like this will help out a little bit. Next I've got a tone correcting powder this one is in warm so it has more of the warmer colors to it but when you swirl your finger in it it pretty much just looks 
white or like a little yellowy toned of a white. Haven't used that yet, but I thought I would pick it up. I also got the mascara primer from the Studio line, and when I was using this, I thought it would turn out to be a lot more white than it is, but looking at the package, it's called transparent, so it's not really supposed to have that white color to it, but just using it today, I think it really separated my lashes really well and like grabbed a hold of all those little tiny ones that you don't even know you have and kind of exposed them, and I really like the results so far just from using it today. Another little brush. I got the brow comb and brush because I don't have one of these so I was like I want to pick one up I wanted to get the little spoolie one just from the $1 line but they were sold out so I settled for this one another brush this is the small tapered brush I think this would be good for using on setting powder underneath the under eye area because it's little tiny area there I have been using my um, blending brush from eco tools but it just takes too much to do that whole area so this one's a little bigger and well it's a lot bigger I mean Look at that. <laughs> but I thought that would be a good brush to have for that under eye area or any kind of little tiny spots. Like even for contouring, like a really harsh, really um, like defined contour look, I think it would be good for that too. And I don't have any smaller brushes like this, so I thought I'd pick that one. Got another one of those correcting powders. This is the cool one. And once again, it has like a white look to it once you swirl them all together. I did use it to set my BB cream today, and it did a very, very good job of mattifying that super duper shiny BB cream. And lastly, the whole reason why I went to the e.l.f. website was to pick up these Studio Blush palettes. I was so excited to see these. I saw Emily Noel did a review on them, and I was like, immediately, I had to get on e.l.f website and pick these guys up. They are in the light one and the dark one and I have used a couple of the light ones here today. So far I really really love them. They're only six bucks a piece and e.l.f. always has some kind of deal on their website so they're a very very good buy in my opinion. I don't know how long they're gonna last because I just put them on this morning but I like the creamy feel of them. They're super duper pigmented. Maybe even a little too pigmented because you gotta really watch yourself when you're dipping in. You gotta like brush it off or tap it off or something because if you just go directly from the pan to your cheek you're gonna end up looking like a clown but you do have to be a little bit careful but I mean if if you just wipe it off or whatever just a little bit or even go over it like with a big kabuki brush and some extra powder I mean you can get it you can get it good so um hopefully they last really long on my cheeks today so I'll be testing that out but this is what I was most excited for. So that was my little haul of all these e.l.f. products. I spent 25 bucks on all of those things plus like six something for shipping which I think is just an awesome awesome deal because I got a lot of really cool interesting new stuff that I can try out and I love trying new stuff of course. If you want to see a full review on any of those products that I just showed you guys please leave it down in the comments below. I would love to do a review on a bunch of this stuff if you guys are even interested. So if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think about them and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye!